This is Angel, a young lady whose story is going to open your mind in an interesting way. Today she is coming home from work when the weekend was approaching. On one hand, she was happy because she was going to have a good time resting, but on the other hand, she was very stressed. I don't know how this weekend will be. Because I have no money at all and I have a lot of things to accomplish. Only a few days had passed since Angel accepted Jesus, so even her relatives, friends, colleagues and her boss did not know yet about her decision to become a Christian. When she arrives home, she begins to think about making preparations for tomorrow's worship. Today, I will only make simple preparations, because I have no money. While she continues to think about the preparation for her tomorrow's worship, she suddenly hears the phone ringing. Hello sir. Listen Angel. The meeting we were supposed to hold on Monday has been moved to tomorrow 8 o'clock in the morning. And you will receive your allowance the same day after the meeting, so make sure you are there on time. Ugh. This is now a test. When Angel continues to think whether she would go to church or attend a meeting, she gets another phone call. This is Raphael, he is Angel's fiancé and they expect to get married later this year. Hello Raphael. How are you my love? I'm cool. How are you? I'm totally cool. Now listen my angel. My trip to Germany, which I was supposed to leave on Wednesday, has now been pushed back. I have to leave on Sunday. Fortunately, I have been given money for personal preparation. Now I want to spend this money with you my love tomorrow. I remember you said you needed another good phone, shoes, wallet, and a new fridge. Isn't it? Sure, it's true. So, get ready, tomorrow you will get them all. Now instead of being happy, Angel is getting more and more confused. Because there are three serious choices in front of her that she doesn't understand which one to make because at that time all things are very important to her. When she doesn't understand what to do, she immediately remembers her father. My dad is a sagacious man, I'm sure he will give me good advice on what I can do, let me call him. Hello. How are you dad? I'm good my daughter. How are you? I am fine dad. Very good. I was just picking up the phone to call you but I see you called first. Really? Yes my daughter. Don't you remember that tomorrow is our anniversary, me and your mom? Because of being busy, Angel had completely forgotten about this important day for her parents. Your siblings have arrived today, but your brother from Norway said he will come in tomorrow morning. I don't know what time you are coming. Okay dad, let me check the arrangement of some of my things here and then I will let you know soon. Oh, this is a very difficult intrapersonal conflict. Even I who listen to the story find myself confused. What would you do if it were you? In fact, until now in my head, I have not found an answer as to what I would do. So, what was Angel's decision? When Angel continues to think about what to do, she suddenly remembered the pastor's sermon when she attended the church the last time. She opened the Bible on her phone and read the verses she remembered from the sermon. Really? Those passages were Matthew 6.33 which says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these will be multiplied to you. Only that? No, she also recited Acts 5.29 which says Peter and the apostles answered, saying, we ought to obey God rather than men. After that Angel decided to make these decisions. She called her boss and replied to his command. Hello sir. I would like to inform you that tomorrow I will not be able to come to the meeting because I am going to church. At the moment I have accepted Jesus and decided to become an Adventist, so every Saturday I will not be able to come to work nor will I attend any ceremony. Then she called her fiancé and told him the same. Finally, she called her lovely dad to give the same answer. Good girl. She seems to be grounded on the scriptures and making decisions. Although that evening was a day of great challenge for Angel, because no one understood her well, Angel was determined to hold her position and believe that people will understand as the days go by. She actually made very difficult decisions that 95% of Christians would not be able to make. So, what happened to her? I don't even know what to say about Angel's story. I don't know if it ended badly, or if it ended well. Give it a listen and then tell me how you feel about it. But before I finish Angel's story, 
let me tell you something. Fine, no problem. In our lives every day we face choices. Sometimes we are faced with simple choices like deciding what to eat in the morning between bread or sweet potatoes. But sometimes we face serious and difficult choices like Angel. The problem is that in those choices you will find yourself hearing one voice persuading you to choose this way, while another voice persuading you to choose another way. Exactly. Those voices you hear are what is called the great controversy between good and evil in every human being. If you decide to do what is against God, it means you have decided to make the devil win, but if you decide to do God's will, you have decided to give God victory. Thanks. Now I understand the meaning of great controversy. But why many people are not ready to fight the devil to death and give God victory? It is because many people decide to become Christians, but they have never sat down and thought about the benefits of winning this war and the losses of losing this war. But the devil we are fighting knows very well the losses of losing the war. Aha! That's why if he decides to start a war with you, he makes sure he fights with you as if you are the only person on earth. Isn't that right? Exactly. Now, tell me what happened to her that night. Oh my god, thank you for allowing me to know you and receive you while I'm still young. I am very grateful that even though today was a very challenging day for me, I go to sleep in my bed with peace beyond description. Give me the strength to fight all challenges in the name of Jesus. Amen. After that prayer, Angel wrote the events of that day in her diary and wrote the prayer she asked God and went to sleep. But unfortunately, the next day, Angel was found dead in her bed, silent as if she had fallen asleep. Do you think the end of Angel's story is good or bad? It is true that death is not a happy thing, but I say that Angel had a happy ending because she died in the hands of God. Very good. I see that you got the lesson very well. See you on the next story. 77 Ministries, we are going home where we belong.